Hey guys, let me show you the reader version of Gizmo Creator. This reader version is free, so don't hesitate to test it to see the power of Gizmos. This version will let you load the presets made from the full version and use them directly in the 3D view. That will be exactly the same. You can just load the presets. You cannot edit nor create the presets. In this version, I also added some presets to show you what you can do with the full version of the add-on. Let's see, for example, this one. This is a preset that will show you the text. For example, you can create gizmos, add some text inside the gizmos and some settings. If I drag left, as you can see, the value will change. If I click, I will be able to enter the value I want directly like that. This one is for the transforms, but you can use anything you want, any property from Blender or from any add-on and add the colors, the size, etc. Et it's, uh, as you can see, updated real time. And this is nice. This one is for the number of faces and this one is a gizmo to edit the bevel. I can add a bevel, I can edit it like that. So you can create gizmos like that. And as you can see, I have uh, a lot of possibilities on this one. On each gizmo, you have 20 possibilities. And on each possibility, you can add operators from Blender or add-ons, uh, properties, same from Blender add-ons, menu, and Python file. You can also, if you want, create some uh, pop-up and uh, menu. Let's see, I will show you the light menu. This one, the light uh, preset, in fact, with this gizmo. So on this gizmo, I added some possibilities. If I click, I will have this pop-up. I created this pop-up from the full version of the add-on, and I added exactly what I wanted. If I switch to cycle, just to show you, as you can see, the pop-up will change. You have the beam shape here. If I select this light here, I will not have it because, because this light doesn't have the beam shape. If I select the spotlight, I will have this, and I will be able to edit that. So like that, with the add-on, you can create pop-ups, you can create menus, you can add some operator, you can drag to change the power. Let's select the power on this one. As you can see, that will change. Uh, you can uh, come and enter a value directly like that and exit. Okay, so you can create the tool you want. Combine add-ons, combine Blender tools, create gizmos, create pop-ups, create menu, create whatever you want. This is really powerful. And you can add gizmo hair, gizmo hair, gizmo hair, and that will change depending on the object mode, on the selection, etc., etc. So don't hesitate and test it and tell me what you think about this.